John, uh, 90 minutes played, 90 plus minutes played and a 0-0 draw. What's uh, your summary of the action? Yeah, I'm really pleased with the performance. I'm really pleased with the commitment of the players, the effort, everything they put in. And they played for 90 minutes. You know, They played for the whole game. Uh, it was always going to be a tough game. Partick have been going a long well. Obviously, they lost them midweek, but they've been, uh, they have been going well. And you know they're a good side. So we knew it would be a difficult game, but I thought we dominated for the vast majority of the game. I thought we played really, really well. Uh, very much on the front foot going forward creating opportunities I thought the midfield were excellent uh, and Ben being at the top and uh, Sam and, and Ross Matthews I thought the wingers did really well Ethan Varian worked his socks off got us up the park probably maybe could have scored in the first half he's got a chance with his right foot he doesn't seem to connect with it properly enough with a number of balls in the box uh, I'm gutted for the players that we didn't get this win that we, they were so desperate to, to get because uh, I felt overall we deserved that win today uh, so it, it didn't come but it wasn't for lack of effort it wasn't for lack of commitment it wasn't for everyone you know putting their shoulder to, to the you know to it and, uh, and going for it uh, we played very positively uh, the only thing that was missing was, was a goal for us yeah we've kept a, a clean sheet and Jamie's had one or two saves as you as you were expecting in a, in a game where you know Thistle are, are uh, like you know ourselves are trying to get out, out of this league and get up to the Premiership and so yeah, they're going to hit nil nil they're always in the game they're never they're never out of the game so they're going to have their, their little moments in the game and, and I thought that's how it, how it was I thought we were, we were a threat most of the afternoon uh, just didn't quite get the goal that we uh, that our play deserved yeah, and despite all that, all that possession and the majority of the possession, um, we still had to rely on Jay McDonald to, to to help us out, you know. And after periods of inactivity, he really uh, kept us in it. Yeah, he's James, a top goalkeeper, and uh, yeah, as I say, because it, it's nil nil, you know, Partick are, are not out of the game, and uh, they cause they create a threat, you know, they do. I mean, Big Brian up there coming on at half time, uh, but even in the first half, he's got a couple of saves from one from distance. Uh, so, yeah, we're very uh, delighted that we've got Jimmy McDonald in goals, he makes he make saves and that's what that's what goalkeepers do, so uh, that's what he's there for. But at the other end, uh, I felt we created a number of chances, uh, just didn't quite take one. But it'll come, it'll come, playing like that and giving that effort, giving that commitment, uh, the wins are just just around the corner. Yeah. On Thursday you'd hinted that um, Cal Benedict just, um, had a good ch- had a chance of playing and indeed he, he, he played the full game. Good to have him and Berra back together and they had like really strong players up against them. Jakubiak first half, Brian Graham second half. Yeah, exa- exactly that. Jakubiak, I thought they kept him quiet and uh, again even in the second half yeah, Brian's going to cause one or two problems but overall uh, they did really, really well. The two centre-backs, yeah. When we were at our best these were the guys who were playing. You know, they've been out of the team through injuries and we've had to change things around and there's been that you know unsettlement you know when you, you, you in an ideal world you wouldn't change the defence too much if you can if you can help it uh, injuries come along and then you, and you have to make changes and force them to changes so but we went back where Benny was fit and uh, it was good to get him back in and I thought he was excellent uh, and along with Christoph. Yeah, I thought it was a whole good team performance. Regan Tomati put a couple of great crosses in in the first half. Really good crosses. If Daryl just got across the front of uh, Foster, uh, Richard Foster at the back post, he may, he may have got a goal. Yeah, Great effort, great commitment, great attitude. Just didn't quite get the win. Unfortunately, you, you know, again, on Thursday, it suggested either one or two players or one might be missing. And uh, So, Jimmy Gillins was ill all week. He was in on the Monday, but he was ill after that. He doesn't have COVID, he's tested negative for COVID. However, it is kind of like COVID symptoms that he's got. Uh, we're hoping he will be available for uh, Wednesday night. Hoping he'll be back in on Monday. And uh, Ethan Ross had a strain to the hamstring, uh, which was from last Saturday. Mm. Uh, Kenny flared up on the Monday though. So, again, we're hoping he could be available for Wednesday night. So these are the two that we're missing today that maybe the fans wouldn't know, you know, why they're missing. Well, that's exactly, you know, why they were missing. Yeah, yeah. Um, w- we may speak to you before that Wednesday game in a, in a midweek interview, um, but um, it's a nice break from the league next Wednesday uh, and it's a cup semi-final to look forward to. We can't, even though it's the Trust Trophy and it's not the major cup competition, it's, it's something to, to aim for for the end of the season. Definitely, we're the holders of it, you know, we're joint holders of it, you know, so we want to keep a hold of it. Uh, we've, just, we've just been doing the Kilmarnock, we know, you know, what they've got, we learn from that, 
last game. I think the first half we weren't great, we weren't, we were poor, but for half time we did really well. Today we put 90 minutes in, so it's a game and a half, we've done really, really well. No quite got what we deserve, but delighted with the way that the guys have responded. Uh, big thank you to the fans that came along today, they were excellent, thanks very much for everyone that came along and supported today. Uh, you guys are desperate for the win, we're desperate for it, we did everything today except win, but uh, again a big thank you for coming along. Thanks for that John, enjoy the rest of your weekend. And you, cheers. cheers.